No, no, no. We're going to leave it. So, I've been thinking here. Just uh, remember, uh, what is it? Uh, when I went to synagogue, it was interesting because you would automatically wash your face and hands every time because the sand, you know, so you see, sand would be on you all the time. So I'm saying, hey, COVID, hey, wash your face, wash your face and hands all the time. So that's what I've been doing. Also, I've just been thinking, no worry about the background. You got the air conditioning okay. unit over there, you got the fake waterfall over there. That's Jude in the back with Kathy, uh, uh, his, uh, his grandmother there. He's, he's spraying stuff. Hopefully he don't spray this way because you know how little kids are. I think the boy's only four years old. I don't know. Anyways, so I've been thinking, as always. Ah, there you go. Reflecting. Got my cold glass of water, even though I don't drink cold water. Uh, warm it a little bit. Got some nuts this afternoon, early afternoon. I'm supposed oh, to be taking my afternoon nap. I tried to, but it didn't work. Cashew. What's I got in here? Oh, pistachio. What's I got in here? I think this is dark chocolate covered blueberry. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, this is good. Ginger, dark covered ginger. I'm almost certain. Dark covered cherries. Okay, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So you leaving, Jude? Daddy. You don't leave me hanging? Come on, man. Goodbye. Come on. Go. Yeah, boom. Okay. Hey, don't take the dog with you. So, father's picking him up so he's gone. So you get the sound effects. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm also right. Well, I'm not really right. I took some notes earlier. I got all kinds of notes here. I should review my notes, but I don't really want to do that. See, the thing is, what's nice about I'm sequestered here in Missouri. I hear, ooh, I hear they're going to start the, the electric companies or whatever, power companies. They're going to start cutting off power for people who don't pay. And they're going to start it by zip codes. Think about that. Zip codes. Now, you know what that means. Because, you know, people are getting together uh, economically. So, like, well, I'm in this uh, suburban area. So, they ain't going to cut this. You know, maybe now nah, they ain't going to they mess with these. You know, but I guess they, people they pay their bills because they, you know, they're really not not that they, these people are not really rich, but the, the rich people, people with means, people can work from home, they're doing just fine. It's a downtrodden that nobody's paying attention to. Mm. No, I'm not speaking for the downtrodden, anything like that. But I've been making some notes. But I'm I'm thinking about things like that. I'm thinking about things like you know, you know the. the Say, for instance, uh, the immigrant, you know, the, everybody, you know, in, 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 immigrants a, a few months ago, you know, they were being locked up, kids disappearing and all the rest of that stuff. But what people don't tell you is that uh, when the immigrant population comes in, they usually go to those zip codes, you know, that, that you know, the, the poorer zip codes. So they're going to be like triple whammies. That, that puts a burden on those poor zip codes, those people that live there, including the hospital systems and all the rest of that stuff. So this is being quite interesting. The, the, what we call the class divide, whatever. It is. They're going to, hey, the class divide. Oof, man. Oh, boy. Uh, laconic. Laconic. It's laconic. I can't be laconic. That would be brief. Nah, I don't want to be laconic. I got to be loquacious. By the way, oh, these uh, these post things or whatever have you get different reality all the time. I think I have so many different realities in this humble abode um, that is kind of interesting. Uh, so let me just review this channel so people understand. This channel is not monetized; will never be monetized. Uh, it didn't start like that. This channel is uh, what we call uh, is Creative Commons, so you can take anything from that you want, to, away, what that you want, blah blah blah. Uh, I don't ask for money enough like that. No, no Patreon, nothing like that. Uh, there is always a little thing with a, a Bitcoin contributions or something like that, but that's been here from the beginning. Uh, but that's only because it's part of a. Um, ooh, how do I explain this? It's part of a. Uh, it started uh, like 2015 or something like that. Uh, because my research group in Davaza 
they of course they were crypto country because we I would listen to Max Kai's all the time so you know the cat that was hanging with me all the time just shadowing me you know that's a clearly my 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 associate my guy in Zimbabwe he's a village organizer you know he was curious right and so I so naturally as an advisor you know let me tell you as well it's like being an elder you don't tell somebody not to do something you say oh yeah you sort of encourage them no, you, you know you sort of encourage them right and so he says well what's this about blah 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 so I said well the first thing I I, I see you is get a wallet so everybody um, make, everybody got a bitcoin wallet so I got a bitcoin wallet but I never paid attention to it and so it's like I don't know what's in there what's not you know but they're supposed to be it's part of their project I just I gotta participate you know so I live so close to the ground for so long that I don't pay attention to money. And they say, well, how could you do that? You need money. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm retired, if you will. No, I'm not retired. I'm put out the pasture. I'm something. Yeah. But because I have, I'm of the boomer generation. You know, I'm an outlier boomer. But I have boomer friends. My sister's a boomer. You know? And they got resources because they were boomers. And they, when they, they capitalized on what they had, you know? These days, people are trying to capitalize what they have, but there's nothing to capitalize on because the, the people that come, you know, the big guys, they done suck all of the capitalization out of capital. Am I saying that right? They sucked all the capital out of capitalization supposed to be happening. So they blame, people blame the boomers for doing whatever they do. But what, the, what people are not saying, or sort of boomers should have been paying attention, you know, but what they're not saying is that, no, a part of this is no. But yeah, you can blame the boomers if you want. I have no no question stuff happened. You, we, whereas uh, Harry Belafonte wants to say, we blinked, you know? But, however, when things are happening, you see things are happening, gotta do something. Gotta do something, you know? So, if the capitalists keep on taking capital out of it, that means it's taking out, it's not taking out of the book, they're taking out of your, so, hey. I know boomers that say, we don't care. <laughs> cold, I have some cold boomers, you know? But most, most of the boomers do care, but they don't know what to do. They have no no strategy, no whatever, you know? So anyway, now, I'm, I, again, I'm, I'm rambling on. I should go, uh, go some notes. What's this? What's your order? That's uh, something else. Um, let me just look here for a second, see what I can what I can talk about, you know, tell you about uh, all these people. You know, what's interesting to me is that uh, there, there are certain things. Oh, oh that's my man. I saw him back. That's my May Day ring. Yes, Prince Rogers Nelson. Hey, it's perfect, you know? Like that. Keep it of him for a second. I'll call him back. He won't miss it. I should just talk. No, I can't talk to him over the thing like that. Um, uh, but you know things have changed so much. Everybody's doing, trying to do their thing. You know, they, they. I hear that uh, Captain America, or I'm sorry, Chris Evans, he started his political uh, channel, whatever channel, political website. That's be kind of interesting what people do. I'm more interested in what black folks do. But we got it already. We've been doing this for a couple, for, for about three years now. We're talking about ADOS. So uh, that's that's why I roll with. You know what I mean? I roll with that. I don't pay no attention. Somebody was just asking me about. So I said, look, I can never. Oh, my sister. I said, no, no, everybody keeps on, I ignore Biden. It's not my problem. I didn't put him in there. I ain't going to take him out. It's, the people that put him in there, it's their, their business to take him out. Now they're trying to take him out. Yeah, but they replaced him in, what do you replace him in with? I won't we'll get into that. Let me stay away from the politics like that. Um, anyway, let me try to make this short. I'm just saying that, so my channel, it's not, it's, it's about me waxing like this, but the important part of the channel, and I'm, I'm getting more, I'm doing more in that, in that, in that, in that channel, the, the playlist in the channel, is the interview. When you, when you hear them, when you see them in, in the interview playlist, go to that. Go to the interview playlist, playlist, and you'll find all kinds of interviews in there, right? Like I just did an interview this morning with a, uh, with a Donald Trump supporter, you know, um, and it's interesting. And I'm gonna make him a series, see, because how I started that, I started by, uh, I was walking past with the dog, you know, see the Trump flag, you know. So, hey, the guy's sitting out there, everybody's ignoring him. Hey, it's what I do. I interview. It's what I do. You know, it's one of the things I do. So I just went down and started talking to him. Then I came by another, I was coming by now, he called me. The first time I asked him, we talked a little bit. 
And the, the next time, you know, he asked me to come by, I could talk a little bit. And this was the third time, third time to charm. So I sat and I interviewed him, right? And I want to interview him more. He's an interesting cat. You know, he's a human being. He's supposed to interview human beings. And the other thing, the reason why this channel was really started, because I was telling people all the time, interview your elders. Interview your elders, not just this channel. This I've always said, because because I'm, 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 I mean, archivist. That's what my friends have just called it. I'm an archivist. Now, I'm an archivist. I like to pronounce it that way. All right? I'm black. I can change the language. Hey, the world follows the culture anyway. If I change it, people will start doing it. No, no, not me, but you know my family. So anyway, so because of that, because I said some people, the, the interview, interview elders, nobody interviewing the elders said, fine. I started interviewing the elders. Now that I'm an elder, I'd be interviewing elders all the time. That's the old person. I want to interview them, right? So that's what I try to do. So that's it. I just want to give you an update on the channel. Um, and, um, and all these distractions happening around. It's the way it is. Hey, you grab the, That's the other thing. You, you don't have to make a perfect interview. What you want to do is you want to get the information down. You know, back in the day, when I used to be a production engineer for, 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 for a community radio station. And what happened is sometimes the sound quality, a news item sound quality wouldn't be what you wanted, but it was the information. Say, look, we got to play this anyway because we got to get this information out. So if this information was helpful to you, uh, not, you don't need to subscribe or nothing like that. What you need to do, everyone, well, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> you don't have to like nothing like that. But every time you see an interview, okay, when we talk to my usually interviews, I have them, you, 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 you'll understand if you, then believe me, most of them are very, very valuable and worth it, okay? More than worth it. That's what I say, I being me, T, from the Patterson Signal Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From an outside location here in Olivet, Missouri, or as a friend of mine said, misery. No, no, I'm not cracking on the phone, Lord.